Making the rounds on day two, I got to meet John Romita Jr. He had a favorite for a very long time, and I was quite excited to meet him, as you can see. Look at this cuddly character, telling me his plans for world domination. <laughs> we are here at uh, Megacon 2008. Now our next guest is the creator of She, Mr. Billy Tucci. How are you doing? Great. It's good to see you at the con. You too, buddy. Now, How now you doing? Last year I saw you. Um, you kind of walked into my uh, my Chuck Dixon interview. I apologize. Had, that's quite all right. You had a big grin on your face, and I recognized you, so it's cool. So what do you got going on this year? Big shit eating grin on my face. That's oh, right. May I say that, or am I we not allowed? We can edit it out. Don't okay. you worry. We'll just have the last Wednesday logo pop up over your mouth. Oh, I love that. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Son so of what's a bitch. Uh, what's going on? You got Sergeant Rock. You got Sergeant Rock exploding all over the place, and these covers yes. are gorgeous. Oh, thank you. Thank Absolutely you. Absolutely gorgeous. So, wh where did you go to get the uh, the inspiration, the visual, the visual beats? Ah, well, once I got the the, the green light to do Sergeant Rock, and mm -hmm. I started um, to write the scripts, um, we open up in Normandy. Very cool. Uh, D Day, Omaha Beach, Easy Red Sector, 6:31 a.m. You know, wow. D-Day uh, plus one minute. Yeah, um, so they're and, right you know, into if, it. If I'm bringing Sergeant Rock back after 30, after 20 years, aside from the great wow. Kubert uh, miniseries that came out, the two of them. With Brian Azzarello. Well, yeah, well, I'm going to bring it back. I'm going to bring Rock back at Omaha Beach. Nice. I figure Very that's nice. where he's got to come back. Back so, to his um, basics. So in order to actually write this and experience this, I went to Normandy. And I, um, I have photos here. I visited this. This is... Um, Point to a hawk where the rangers climbed as me. I brought my, I was in the airborne myself, so I. Really? You know, yeah, so I, I it was really, I, it was great. I felt very proud to be an American there, and I visited the cemetery. Hang on! And um, see, this is photos of the beach, and you know, um, the, the bluffs where all the Germans were shooting oh, wow. down, and it was the most spiritual place I've ever been in my life. I mean, here's a memorial. To, to the you know to the fallen Americans and they love That's Americans great. there in the, in the Cavaldos area they just it's uh, it was really great so I, I again I had the spirit of all you felt the spirit of all these ghosts and these poor you know 19 20 year old men boys really who are running across 400 yards of murderous fire to get to the yeah. seawall and they had to fight their way up the bluffs and yeah. Uh, then what I did is I had a bunch of World War II reenactors come to my house and took a bunch of photos of them. Actually partook in a World War II reenactment a month ago, 1,700 wow. Germans and Americans in this huge battle. Um, Very cool. One of the guy who one of the guys bought the Tiger Tank from Saving Private Ryan, and Whoa. that's where I was able to take photos of the Tiger Tank and for the cover. And um, that's great. Uh, actually, I was actually a war correspondent. I was all kitted out as a as a World Very War II nice. war correspondent with my camera, and I and I took about a thousand photos there. And That's um, great. then this past week, I just came back. I went to the Vosges Forest, where the Lost Battalion. It's called Sergeant Rock, the Lost Battalion, because we jumped from D-Day to four months later mm -hmm. in France, in in the Vosges Forest. And um, I had I spent again. I took another 900 photos or so of uh, oh, or wow. about 600 photos, I guess, of of these incredible forests where. No, 275 kidding. men were trapped and surrounded by 7,000 Germans, and they Whoa. had to fight their way out. And the Japanese American soldiers had to come and and rescue them. And it was just brutal. This really? battle was incredible. And uh, this is a shot of the watering hole where that photo was taken place, where a big battle took place. And I actually got to walk. I drank from the water. I can Sorry, tell I that you're it. really excited about this project. Yeah. Just looking at these pictures. Oh yeah, I mean, it, 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 again, it was. Then, which is really cool, is that they were they made me. They had this big ceremony uh, to the fallen. The the, the 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 governor of the Lorraine province or the Vosges Mountains and the the the, the big dignitaries of the region of all the towns came out mm -hmm. for this wreath laying ceremony. And this man made a speech and. They raise the American flag, and, That's and awesome. I'm telling you, they hold the American flag in higher esteem here than their own flag. Really? They feel that they love Americans, and it's, it's nothing like Paris. It was the proudest moment of my life, and they made me an actual ambassador f for the town of that Briers really cool. and uh, uh, you know, the Vosges Forest region, and it was just incredible. 
That, that's it was definitely just an incredible, incredible. Honor. And uh, you see this thing here, taking of the town hall in this town, Biffontaine, and the bullet holes are still all riddled oh, wow. in the gates. When the, the SS was in there and the Americans fought and took, oh, took the, you know, the government building here. I mean, it, it is just un... Again, you just they again they appreciate Americans, yeah. and, and and what they did, and how how many of our boys died. For exactly. Them. I mean, you know? seeing this stuff, it just makes you realize exactly what they were fighting for, yep. and how many people laid down their lives yep. for what they thought was yep. right. And there's know, also you have the Japanese, yeah, the Japanese Americans who, um, you know, they they their families were in internment camps, you know, mm -hmm. with machine guns behind barbed wire, and they volunteered out of the camps because they wanted to prove. As I've been talking to a lot of these veterans. They just wanted to prove, sh pro show them, show the world that they were, show their government, yeah. they were good Americans. Yeah, that they you know, wanted I mean, to fight for their country. Good Americans, you know what I mean? Like yeah. FDR, this great humanitarian, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, putting his own people, you know, the only the president who incarcerated yeah. his own people, just because of the color of their skin, you know, yeah, just and where their, their parents were from. Yeah. Horrible. But it's they fought, and, and, but they, they don't forget, and they, they told me, please, we, we, we will never forget and let America know that we love them. And I said, I will. That's great. And, you know, we found mortars. You know, here's uh, 88 millimeter shells that oh, we wow. found in the forest, unexploded. There's a mortar right there. Um, the belly tanks that the planes used to drop to, you know, and I have Johnny Cloud in it, and we have mm -hmm. the haunted tank is in this series. Nice. And it's going to be a. It's gonna be big, man. It's gonna be well. It's gonna be a lot of work for me. So hopefully it'll be big. So I'm I'm very buy. excited about it. Oh, I you, you've already got two buyers right here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're sold on it already. I so. mean, just looking at the covers. Well, but. I want to deliver the most authentic. Again, I'm following the steps of Joe Kubert. So, oh my God. So yeah. I better, I better step up my game. Yeah, and uh, and and make you know make him proud. And he gave me his blessing, and he's gonna do an interview for me and everything. And That's so awesome. I'm real excited. Yeah. Yeah, I, I can definitely tell that you're going to do him proud. I mean, just yeah. looking at this cover, this cover is just so striking. Oh, thank and you. And I think your style fits Sergeant Rock very well because you've got a nice, crisp, yeah. clean style, and yeah. your storytelling is great. Well, it's funny because I'm known for doing women, and a lot of people were skeptical, but I think we're starting to, to you know, the detractors are starting to get uh, fewer and fewer. Good, good. So, we need less detractors. Yes, indeed. So anything going on with she right now? Yeah, um... Well, uh, right now we have uh, with the film. I, I, that's what I'm. We just finished writing the second draft really? of the screenplay. Um, so who knows? Yeah. You, know, you, you don't want to get excited about it, but hopefully, and then I have to start the new yeah. she series um, August first. I have to finish my rock by August first, the six issues, mm -hmm. and uh, then I start doing she. Very so, cool. Uh, again, and I do another she series, and hopefully I'll be writing some more stuff for DC and. You know, it's it's uh, again. This is a this is a dream project of mine, though. Awesome. So, uh, I, I love to hear it when creators get to work on dream projects. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's that's that makes me feel good. Yeah, I mean, it, yeah. That ensures a better product. Oh because, yeah, totally. I mean, look look at the research that you've yeah, done. Totally, I mean, you've totally. already you've already put in tons of time yeah. getting the research, making sure it's authentic, and yeah. it's going to show in the pages. Oh yeah, you want it to be right, and yeah. that's what I again I just again it's just it's a dream project. And of mine. I know the fans are going to respond because I hope it's so. you <laughs> and you're you're putting in the work, man. Yeah, you're putting in the work. Well, Billy, so. I can't tell you how much. I appreciate oh, the interview. Pleasure. Thank you Thank very you. much. This is last Wednesday, Megacon 2008. Listen to him. Get her done. Sorry. Testing, testing, you ready? All right. We are here at Megacon 2008. Now we've got an update from one of our friends, Mr. Brian Polito. How you doing, sir? I'm great, man. What's up? How you feeling? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I love Megacon, man. Yeah, Megacon's great. Yeah. How's Megacon going for you this year? It's bananas. Yeah? Yeah. Absolutely crazy. I mean, it's it's in a different part of the, the convention center this year, so I think we have a little bit more room to breathe. Yep, exactly. Last year was a little claustrophobic. So uh, what's going on with you this year? Well, you know, uh, taking a little hiatus from comics, and I'm actually directing a feature film that I wrote. Really? Yes. Do tell, please. The story's called The Graves. It's a horror story. Uh-huh. And it's about two sisters whose visit to a remote roadside attraction turns into a mind-bending fight for survival against menaces, both human and supernatural. 
Is that going to be the write-up for the movie? Is that the little blurb? That's the pitch. That's beautiful, man. What makes it real fun, though, relative to your audience, is the sisters are uh-huh. comic geeks. Really? Yeah, they're hot comic geek chicks. Right on, right on, right on, <laughs> yes. Haven't seen that in a movie. That's true, that's true. Got to see the geek love, though. You know, you see a lot of geek guys in TV shows this year. Now it's time for the chicks. That's right, that's right. We got to convert the chicks, man, especially the hot ones. Yeah. So uh, tell us uh, us about Coffin Comics. What's what's up with that? Well, I made Coffin Comics purely to do uh, cool, high-end, limited collectibles, Mm -hmm. usually related to Lady Death or other stuff. Yeah. So these are things that are limited to 100, signed, numbered, Mm -hmm. or sometimes they're even stuff like handcrafted, Real Ooh. artificial jewels, that kind of stuff. See, now this is drool worthy right here. You see that? Is see, it? and Lady Death's just always been so hot. It's true. It's now these always. are real artificial jewels. <laughs> Get that? Real artificial jewels, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, so, it's just kind of fun since there's a, a hardcore collector fan base of Lady Death across the globe. Yeah. I mean, we even d- did something like uh, in the beginning of December, we did a Christmas edition yeah. where it was all tweaked out with little Christmas trinkets and Very it just nice. blew out. A lot of fun. Very nice. So are we going to see a comic of your movie by well, any chance? Well, that's a good question. There are comics in the movie. Uh-huh. So, Are they Lady Death comics? There is a Lady Death comic. Actually, one of the main girls is a Lady Death fan. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Very nice. <laughs> any any representation on Evil Ernie? Uh, not, no, because you know all that legal stuff. Yeah, it's a yeah. shame. I can't sneak her Evil in, but some of my other characters will be like in posters on the wall and stuff. We have a nightclub scene and... All my stuff's kind of tweaked out all over the place. Excellent. So what are you what are you really excited for this year, 2008? All the good end-of-the-world scenario movies, like The Happening. Really? Yeah. I'm what's uh, what's the premise for The Happening? Well, that's an M. Night Shyamalan film, and <gasps> oh, it's some global right. event that happens. Mm-hmm. So any of the fun end-of-the-world kind of stuff. Yeah. I know a lot of people in, in here are probably saying Iron Man, Hulk, yeah. but... You know, my Iron Man and Hulk is like post-apocalyptic or zombie stuff. So. Yeah, the good stuff. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, last year you told us about Cloverfield, so we went and saw that. So we're going to have to go see The Happening because you recommended it this Dude, year. Dude, The Happening. Well, you know, like, I don't know how it's going to be, uh-huh. but I'm always looking for it. Yeah. Next couple weeks, Doomsday should be a lot of fun. I saw the preview for that last night. It looks pretty interesting. Doesn't it? It looks like Road Warrior mashed up with Escape from New York. Yeah. It's yeah, like, haven't I the- seen this film before? Well, I guess I'll go and see it again. Yeah, might as well, you know. It looks like it has a hot lead chick, so, you know, it'll be worth yeah, it exactly. just for that. Yeah, know? it's like Kate Beckinsale's cousin or something, right? Kate Beckinsale. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, I'm good Take now. a moment. No, I'll just take a moment. You know? A couple years ago, I was at the Scream Awards, and uh-huh. uh, I was nominated, so I'm like on the fifth row, and awesome. I'm just looking up, and it's Jessica Alba, Kate Beckinsale, <laughs> just like... They really are that pretty. <laughs> That's not just TV. They're no, really it's not gorgeous. just makeup. It was just That's like... awesome. <laughs> so you're going to be going to the Scream Awards again, you think? I don't know. If I'm not, actually, I'm, I'm on the advisory board, so I usually get invited. I had a scheduling conflict, so I couldn't make it this year. But uh, uh, okay. maybe in 08, that'd be great. Maybe. It, it's a good party, too. Just imagine, right? Afterwards, <sighs> bananas. Oh, I can just imagine good times. what kind of parties. So tell us what you're doing with the Heroes Initiative, because we know, we know you're on the board for that as well. Well, I am. Uh, Hero Initiative, we raise, comic, we, raise, we raise comic books for veterans in need. No, we don't do that. We raise, <laughs> <laughs> we raise funds for comic veterans in need. So it's, you know, just keep an eye on vets who've maybe fallen onto hard times. Yeah. So at any given time, I'm doing different activities. And let's see, I'm uh, producing an electronic press kit, but Very also cool. involved with the new uh, Hulk project, where it's sort of Hulk nice. 100, the all-new Hulks. Really? Yep. Yeah, all 100 brand-new covers. Very cool. I so think I'll be, some over them. In yeah, the, uh, there's, yeah, there's a bunch on display over there. Go check those out. Yeah, there's that, some good-looking dude, covers dude, over that's there. an insert shot, those things. Yeah. 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 So Definitely. that's what I'm doing. And I'm always... You know, helping out somehow on an ongoing basis. Very cool. I'm glad to hear it. Well, Brian, Thanks. always a pleasure to talk Vice to you, man. Vice versa, man. That's right. That's right. Uh, come down to MegaCon. It's always a great show. This is 2008, and we're there last Wednesday. Oh, right on. Awesome. Sweet. Love Chris. I don't know, man. This one right here. Oh, in front yeah. Of the, we get a piece of chair. Yeah, that one. That one. That's a great one. I gotta say, I love what you guys are doing. This is great. This is Mr. Essex at uh, MegaCon 2008. Please join me next year, won't you?